Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I'm Joe and today we're going to be taking a look at some video editing software. Now you might be thinking to yourself, what, Adobe Premiere Pro or maybe Final Cut Pro, maybe even Sony Vegas, but no, we're actually going to be taking a look at iMovie. And not even iMovie for Mac OS, I want to take a look at iMovie for iOS. So that's going to be for your iPhone or your iPad and it's surprisingly intuitive and easy to use and you can get some pretty good results. So let's get started. Okay, so of course the first thing you're gonna wanna do is run over to the App Store if you haven't already and search for iMovie. Uh, you'll probably be surprised to find that the app is actually free. Uh, go ahead and download that and we're ready to go. Okay, so jumping straight in, you're greeted with a main screen, which has all the options at the top to get you started. Uh, under project, hit the plus to create a new movie. You'll then get two options, and you're going to want to go with the first one. Now, I like to choose simple so I can add my own flavor to whatever video that I'm creating, but you're free to do whatever you'd like. Now, click create in the top right corner, and you're ready to go. Adding videos and audio is simple and you can even record straight from the camera into iMovie. So in this video we will choose to add a clip from your library. Okay, once the clip is selected and in your timeline, here are a few things you can do with it. So first you can use your finger to slide the clip, essentially scrubbing through your footage. You can also tap the clip to get more options like split, detach, duplicate, and delete. So if you have a portion of a clip you want to get rid of, just scrub through the clip until you get to that point where you want to keep the first portion and discard the rest. Tap the clip, then choose split. Now your clip is now split into two sections and you can now select which portion of the clip you would like to get rid of. I'll simply tap that part and select delete and now that portion is gone. Now something else you may want to do is separate your video and your audio. Now this is particularly useful when you only want to use the video clip or maybe add some music instead. Now to do that simply click the audio track and hit delete and now your video is ready for some music. At any point that you feel like you have deleted something in error, just hit the little U-turn symbol and that will take you one step back. Okay, so now let's add some audio. I'll simply tap the film and music icon, which will take you to a page that has three options at the bottom. I'll select audio to see any music or sound effects, and you can select from pre-installed audio in iMovie or sounds that you may have stored on your device. Search for the sounds you're looking for, then select that sound by tapping, and then hit the down arrow to add it to your timeline. Okay, now let's add another clip so I can show you how to add in some nice transitions between your video clips. Now, fortunately, iMovie makes this step super easy and automatically inserts a transition for you. You can actually then have the option to edit that transition to something else that you prefer or no transition at all. You even have control over how fast or slow you would like that transition to be. And once you feel satisfied with your movie, you can click done in the top right hand side and you're ready to share with the world. Hi guys, well that does it for another video. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did making it. Of course, this wasn't a complete iMovie for iOS tutorial. There are a lot of other things that you can do. I just wanted to give you an overview of what you could expect to be able to do with it and the kind of result that you might be able to expect. I did make a short little one minute video for you guys to see as an example of what you can accomplish using iMovie for iOS. But anyways, if you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And as always, I'll see you next time.